When it comes to having an action camera for your drone, the GoPro has remained the king of the hill. However, that isn't to say some others haven't tried to take its crown over the years, and one of them was this, the DJI Action 2. Now this got everyone very excited at release because not only was it a camera in a small form factor, it offered decent image quality, image stabilization, and there were many of us hoping that this would be the perfect replacement for the likes of the session. Unfortunately though, reality turns out often to be a bit of a disappointment, and that was the case with this. And whilst the Action 2 was a good camera, there were a number of drawbacks that prevented it from being the perfect solution. Today though, DJI have done something a little bit strange, and that is they've released an updated version of the DJI Action 2. Now, don't get too excited. There is no new sensor here, no improved image quality, but there is one change that may make it better for FPV users, and that is the amount of onboard storage. Now, when the Action 2 first released, there were many people hoping that this would finally be the perfect camera for FPV. Unfortunately, though, reality turned out a little bit different. And whilst this is a very good camera, it certainly is not an ideal replacement for the likes of the Session or another GoPro. For instance, there are a number of real annoyances with the Action 2, especially whilst using it for FPV. Whilst the form factor is very nice, you do have that built-in glass screen at the back that cracks very easily. The aluminium housing does bend and buckle, and this glass panel on the front is non-replaceable, again, not making it the ideal solution. Internally, though, things were not great either. Whilst it has good image quality, it is not as good as a GoPro. Whilst it does have image stabilization, it isn't quite as good as a GoPro. And the auto exposure behavior on it is pretty terrible, with it often lagging when moving between light and dark scenes. The biggest issues, though, were the fact that the camera has a fixed built in battery that only offers about 15 to 20 minutes of recording, and it has a fixed 32 gigs of onboard storage. You could get around the power issues on this because there are pads at the bottom and there are a number of cases that have been made allowing you to charge this via the battery on your quad. However, you were still limited by that 32 gigs of onboard storage. And what that would mean is you'd need to connect it to this display module between flights to download your footage to an SD card. Today, though, DJI have done something completely unexpected, and that is they have released an updated version of the Action 2 and increased the onboard storage from 32 gigs to 128 gigs. Now, as far as we can see, nothing else on the camera has changed. There is no removable battery. There is no other changes to the camera itself other than the fact that you now have additional onboard storage. Now, whilst this doesn't solve all of the problems of the DJI Action 2, it does solve one of the more difficult ones to get around with regards to that onboard storage. And if you were to use this camera with an external power, it now means you shouldn't have to worry too much about having to offload footage between flights. Now, I have to say the DJI Action 2 is one of my favorite action cameras. I use this quite a lot. I am actually in the process of testing this. This is the new Flywoo naked kit for the GoPro. They've sent me the version 9. This is the Hero 9, but it is available in all the latest versions as well. And whilst the Action 2, as I've said, wasn't perfect, many people decided to go down the route like this and use a GoPro instead. The advantage to using a GoPro is the fact that this naked version has a replaceable glass lens, which means you can install an ND filter or replace it should you crack it. It has a full SD card, meaning you don't have to worry about storage. And this can be powered directly from your LiPo without any problems at all. Also, this comes in a little bit lighter than the DJ Action 2 as well. So whilst the DJ Action 2 is a nice off the shelf solution for a small FPV camera, there are better options out there from the likes of Flywoo and others. And I'm going to be talking about this a little bit more in the near future on the channel. Now, I am really pleased that DJI have done this. I'm a big fan of the Action 2. And whilst it's certainly not perfect, it is a good little camera. And I'm happy that it's not going to be disappearing anytime 
time in the near future. Now, as for the price of this additional storage, if we take a look at the 32 gig model, it comes in at 279, and now the new 128 gig version comes in at 299. You're basically paying $20 for that additional storage. It's an absolute bargain, and in my opinion, that's the one to go for compared to the 32. There's no good reason to save $20 and have such a small amount of storage. Now, I don't know what this means for other DJI products that have onboard storage, such as the DJI O3 ear unit. There has been a few sales around at the moment on the O3, and I wouldn't be surprised to see DJI also release an upgraded storage version of that as well. There is no evidence that we're going to see O4 anytime soon. However, the very fact that they have upgraded the Action 2 tells us that they are willing to look back at products and make changes, and I wouldn't at all be shocked to see a higher storage version of the O3 in the near future either. Anyway, now that is it from me on this one. It was just a quick heads up. It is out there. I'll put a link to DJI's website in the description. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a link to DJI if you'd like to use it. If you found this video interesting, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. If you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking out links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. I want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreons. We would not be able to keep doing this without your support. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.